Have you heard of SAMe? Well, it's a natural compound your body makes that might just help lift your mood, sharpen your focus, and boost your energy. And in today's video, we'll break down what SAMe actually is, how it supports your mental health, what the research says about using it for depression and anxiety, and how your genetics can make or break your experience with it. I'll also share practical tips on safe dosing, side effects to watch out for, and even foods that help your body make it more naturally. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Giselle Rosa, a board certified psychiatric nurse practitioner here to help you optimize your mental health through genetics and integrative and functional medicine using a skills before pills approach. So what is SAMe? Well, S-adenosylmethionine or SAMe is naturally produced in your body from ATP and methionine, and it plays a central role in mental and physical health. It functions as the primary methyl donor and is involved in over 100 essential biochemical reactions. And if you haven't seen the video on methylation, I advise you go and watch that. But if you have seen it, then you know that methylation is crucial for mood regulation, neurotransmitter synthesis, detoxification, and cellular repair. So let's first understand the basics of ATP and methionine. ATP or adenosine triphosphate is the primary energy molecule produced by the mitochondria in our cells. While methionine is an essential amino acid obtained through diet, like from meat, fish, and eggs. And we need both ATP and methionine to produce SAMe. So we need healthy mitochondria and an adequate diet. And we'll talk more about some dietary interventions later on. But first, let's talk about SAMe's role in mental health. Well, SAMe facilitates neurotransmitter synthesis, especially dopamine, serotonin, and norepinephrine. It also supports phospholipid synthesis, which is important for enhancing brain cell membrane integrity. It also boosts glutathione production, which is crucial for reducing oxidative stress in the brain because glutathione is a powerful antioxidant. And so what is the clinical evidence for SAMe? Well, when it comes to treating depression, Studies consistently support SAMe's effectiveness in depression treatment. And a Cochrane review, which was a systematic review in 2016, showed significant improvement in depressive symptoms compared to placebo, which were comparable to standard antidepressant treatments. An earlier study in 2010, which looked at SAMe as an adjunct therapy, was a double-blind randomized clinical trial and it demonstrated improved outcomes when SAMe was combined with SSRIs for treatment-resistant depression. Now, when it comes to anxiety and bipolar disorder, there's some mixed evidence here where it can be beneficial for anxiety in some cases, but caution is required due to its stimulating effects, and it could potentially exacerbate symptoms in bipolar patients. So now let's talk about genetic variants, where SAMe can actually be used beneficially in certain variants, starting with MTHFR. So if you have MTHFR gene variants that reduce your folate metabolism, increasing the need for methylation support, SAMe can actually bypass this bottleneck very effectively. And so those with the MTHFR variants often report clearer thinking and improved mood when supplementing with SAMe. Other genes like MTR and MTRR can have variants that lead to less efficient recycling of homocysteine to methionine. And SAMe supplementation supports this critical biochemical pathway. Now the COMP gene, VALVAL, and if you missed my video on the COMP gene, I have a video on that, please go ahead and check it out. But the VALVAL variant means you have rapid dopamine metabolism, and SAMe can actually help to maintain optimal dopamine levels. And there are some nuances with COMP, where you may have the MET-MET allele, which typically caution is advised due to slower neurotransmitter breakdown, which can potentially cause overstimulation with SAMe. But there's a nuance here. 
In the context of additional genes like MTHFR, SAMe might still be beneficial in controlled low doses, but when overseen by a provider who's familiar with these types of genetic nuances. Now let's move on to other genetic variants that may need caution with SAMe. First, let's talk about MAOA which stands for monoamine oxidase A, which is an enzyme that breaks down neurotransmitters like serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine. So your MAOA gene determines how quickly this enzyme works. And there are variants often described as low activity or high activity. And it's the low activity MAOA variants which lead to slower breakdown of these neurotransmitters. And essentially, that means these neurotransmitters linger longer in the brain. And for some, this can be beneficial for mood, focus, or motivation, but it can also mean a greater risk of emotional sensitivity, irritability, or anxiety if levels get too high. So why does this matter with SAMe? Well, SAMe acts as a methyl donor that supports neurotransmitter production. So it can boost the synthesis of serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine. And if you already have that low MAOA activity, your brain may struggle to clear out the extra neurotransmitter overload. And this can lead to symptoms like anxiety, agitation, restlessness, racing thoughts, or even insomnia. And this is why people with low activity MAOA variants should use SAMe cautiously. It's also important to mention that low MAOA activity combined with slow COMPT can increase the risk of this neurotransmitter overload. So now let's move on to the CBS gene. So something you might see in your genetic report could be CBS upregulation. And CBS stands for cystathione beta synthase, which is an enzyme that helps move homocysteine down the transsulfuration pathway which is the process by which your body converts homocysteine into cysteine and glutathione to support detoxification and your antioxidant defenses. So in simple terms, think of CBS as a gate that diverts homocysteine away from the methylation cycle and into making things like glutathione and other sulfur-containing compounds. So CBS upregulation means that this gate is wide open and your body pushes homocysteine quickly down that path, which can lower your homocysteine levels, but also deplete your pool of methyl donors. So when someone has CBS upregulation, they already may be pushing that homocysteine through this pathway quickly enough and then adding high doses of SAMe can further increase this flow. And this can lead to excess sulfur metabolites like ammonia or sulfites. And this can cause symptoms like anxiety, headaches, gut discomfort, irritability, or even feeling wired. So it doesn't mean that you can't ever use SAMe if you have a CBS or MAOA gene variant, but you do need to be cautious. Lower doses, watching for symptoms, and supporting your detox pathways can go a long way. Also, understanding your MAOA and CBS status are powerful examples of how your genetics can help personalize your supplement strategy, making it safer and more effective. And this is why working with a knowledgeable practitioner is so helpful, because they can help you figure out if SAMe is right for you and how to use it without causing any of these imbalances. So now let's talk about one of the major risks of taking SAMe, which is overmethylation, which we've talked about in the methylation video and the B12 reaction video. So if you miss those, I advise you check them out. So signs of SAMe overmethylation will include things like anxiety, irritability, insomnia, headaches, migraines, racing thoughts, or even agitation. So if you're having any of these symptoms and you think you're overmethylated on SAMe, you wanna first lower or stop your dose, take niacin, which can help reduce those methyl groups, and stay hydrated, be calm and support your nervous system, but most importantly, make sure you're working with a provider to help you adjust your supplement plan. 
And so now let's talk about proper dosing guidelines when it comes to SAMe. Well, you first wanna start with a starting dose of 200 to 400 milligrams a day, starting in the morning. Then get to a more therapeutic dose from 400 to 1200 milligrams to support your mood, which is typically split into one to three doses daily. And you generally don't wanna exceed 1600 milligrams a day due to the increased risk of side effects. And gradual increases are recommended in increments of 200 to 400 milligrams weekly. You also wanna make sure you're regularly monitoring for side effects and effectiveness of SAMe. And so possible side effects will include things like insomnia, GI upset like nausea, irritability or hypomania, especially in the bipolar spectrum, and anxiety, which is especially true in certain genetic variants as we just discussed, or if you combine SAMe with high dose methyl B12 or methylfolate. And so now let's talk about some natural dietary support for SAMe. Well, first you wanna focus on methanine rich foods like grass fed beef, eggs, fish, poultry, nuts, and even seeds. Then you wanna focus on supportive cofactors like vitamins B12 and folate, magnesium, and zinc to enhance SAMe production and utilization. It's also important to note that the Mediterranean diet, which is rich in healthy fats, adequate protein, and antioxidants, naturally supports methylation and SAMe production. So now let's talk about potential medication interactions and safety when it comes to SAMe. Well, first, careful monitoring is needed with SSRIs, SNRIs, or tricyclic antidepressants due to the risk of serotonin syndrome. Caution is also advised with Parkinson's medications, mood stabilizers, and MAOA inhibitors, and it's contraindicated or cautiously used in bipolar disorder, pregnant or breastfeeding women, and children, and this is due to limited evidence. And now for my final thoughts. Well, SAMe is a powerful tool for supporting your mental health. It can help boost mood, improve focus, and support neurotransmitter balance, especially for people with certain genetic profiles or methylation challenges. But like any supplement, it's not a one size fits all. Your genetics, your biochemistry, and your current medications, even your diet play a role in how SAMe will affect you. And that's why it's so important to take a personalized approach. So knowing your MTHFR, your COMT, MAOA, and CBS genetic status can help you predict how you might respond and help you use SAMe safely and effectively. Remember, more isn't always better. Start low, go slow, and pay attention to your body's feedback. And don't hesitate to seek help from a practitioner who understands methylation and nutrigenomics. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with someone who might benefit. And if you're not already, subscribe to the channel for more science-backed holistic mental health insights like these. And if you're curious about whether SAMe is right for you, or you want to understand your genetic blueprint for mental wellness, check out the links in the description. And let's take the guesswork out of your mental health journey and help you build a plan that actually works for you. And as always, I thank you for watching. I wish you well on your mental health care journey, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.